Hello and welcome to today's edition of Your Questions Answered with Father Gruner. I'm John Veneri. We take your questions that you send us via email. Father Gruner answers them. Uh, we discuss them. Uh, we get uh, a lot of uh, compliments that people find this program helpful, and we're happy about that. So please continue to send us your questions at questions at the Fatima Center dot com. Uh, today, we have someone who wrote to us and said, in a recent YouTube video, I saw you spoke about Medjugorje possibly having heresies involved with it. Could you please explain, because I'm a devout believer in Fatima, Garabandal, and Medjugorje? So first of all, I'd uh, like to set down a few principles just so we, we're, uh, people understand we're, we're not being uh, prejudiced or prejudging. We're, we're going by Catholic principles. The first principle, of course, is St. Paul tells us that we must not extinguish the Spirit, we must not despise prophecy, but we must test all things and hold fast that which is good. So, let's just take Fatima and Medjugorje, for example. Fatima has been tested by the Church, has been found to be good, doctrinally sound, and has been approved by the Church as worthy of belief. Okay. Uh, I would even go further on a personal basis, but we won't get into that here. But whereas Medjugorje, on the other hand, <coughs> has been tested by the local bishop, and he's time and again and again, and the successor bishop is the same way. It's not supernatural, okay, and over and over again. So now, and also we should say too, with the, with the bishops of Yugoslavia, who conducted these investigations, there is a procedure, there is a proper procedure to go about. Yeah. Uh, in investigating these things, and these bishops have done everything that they're supposed to be. They didn't just look at a sheet of paper and said, oh, this isn't true, and just cast it aside. No. They interviewed the, the people involved, the so-called seers and all yeah. of that, and they have said a number of times there is nothing supernatural so happening here. The, uh, in fact, the bishops <laughs> of Yugoslavia, all but one, uh, unanimously in, endorsed that it was not true. It was not from heaven. So, but let us just, the question that talks about something that uh, I, it might have been, I said it or you said it again, but I'm aware of this. That, uh, so people send me all sorts of materials. I haven't got time to read everything people send me, but uh, some years ago I found myself in my office with this pile of books and I picked up one and it was about Medjugorje. So, and it was written, it was, it, I've written, read, I've read ones or parts of one by people who were against Medjugorje. But I, this one was by a person, could have been Rennie Laurentin, Father Laurentin, or someone else, who in fact are very much known to be in favor of Medjugorje. So, so the quotes I'm talking about are taken from <coughs> friends of Medjugorje, yes. not, not enemies. Yeah. But in the quote that they're giving, and it's more than once, they, they, they have the Blessed Virgin saying, it doesn't matter what church you belong to, you know, you, I mean, it doesn't matter. Well, to say that is heretical. Is if I mean, of course, if, if you, the first first law of salvation is first law of the church is the salvation of souls is takes precedent. So, if your salvation matters, then it, what church you belong to matters because outside the Catholic Church there is no salvation. To say that is is if it's not apostasy, it's certainly heretical. But it's not is so it's not in a context. Of, it's said from this this vision that they have. And numerous times. And numerous times. Numerous it's not times. once taken out of context, something like that. So that alone tells me that 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 vision is... It's not, for, it's it's not, not of God. Our, because Our Lady would not preach a heresy, come down from heaven and, and preach as a heresy. That's one of the tests. So you test all things. If it's teaching heresy, it's not from God. Well, that's it. I mean, people say... Well, I go to Medjugorje and I hear about Medjugorje and there are good fruits from it. The first fruit we have to look for from a supposed apparition is, does it teach the truth? Yeah. That's first. That's before yeah. everything else. Because we know that St. John of the Cross says that the more corporal the experience, the, the alleged supernatural experience, and the more tangible it is, the less certain it is from God. So we have to test. So just if, if, if you know, people see you know, explosions of light or whatever that they claim that they see, uh, that's all secondary to whether or not the vision teaches the truth. Yeah. And um, I got a letter from someone who was really angry at Catholic Family News because we had mentioned no salvation inside the church. And he said, well, you're dead wrong because you're going against Medjugorje. And he quoted me the, uh, a newsletter from Wayne Weeble, who is a 
Medjugorje uh, proponent. I, I think he's a Lutheran also. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, but here's the quote supposedly come from our Blessed Mother. The Muslims and the Orthodox, for the same reasons as Catholics, are equal before my son and me. That's supposedly yeah. our, our Blessed Mother speaking. Yeah. Okay. That's a direct, and he was using that saying, well, well this idea that outside the church is wrong, your salvation is wrong because Our Lady of Medjugorje teaches the opposite. Well, I mean, well, first of all, the Catholic, we have to, well, if Wayne Weevil, of course, he doesn't have the rule of faith. Uh, the, uh, the dogma of the faith is trumps, is over everything else. The dogma of the faith cannot be wrong. It's infallible. And, and so if somebody's contradicting it, you say, well, I better, better revise my thinking in the light of, of Catholic dogma. But he's not Catholic, first of all. But th so this person writing you in his ignorance might be quoting uh, somebody. But the bottom line is that's, so what you're proving to me is that I've, I've not misread these books. And it wasn't no. just one. I, I read no. two or three from, all of them were in favorable, in favor of Medjugorje. All of them said the same thing. All said, Our Lady said something like this. Here's another one, page 119 of a book called The Visions of the Children by a man named, named Connell. Vicka, the alleged seer, is being, inter is being interviewed. Is the Blessed Mother calling all people on earth to be Catholic? Vicka says, no. The Blessed Mother says all religions are dear to her and her son. She says, it is we who have made the divisions. That's a constant thing, too. Yeah. We've made the divisions. Well, with uh, all respect, I mean, you know, this show, I mean, if we talk about, uh, people talk about names. What, what do the Muslims say about, about Catholics? What do they say? That, 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 first of all, that anyone who believes in the Trinity is an abomination to them. Yeah, so, they use the term excrement. Yeah. So, to, to, uh, so, so, the if, if you're, so the Trinity is... You know, the, 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 why do we have the order of the Blessed Trinitarians? The Trinitarians were founded to save Catholics from the Muslims, to, to ransom them from the Muslims, founded by two saints about a thousand years ago. But the, they took the order of Trinity purposely as it's the thing that's... The mission of Fatima, the, the vision of Tui, is a vision of the Trinity. You know, almost Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I mm -hmm. adore thee profoundly. That's the it, prayer the angel taught them. The Trinity is, if you believe in Fatima, then you can't believe Medjugorje is the continuation of Fatima. You can't believe Medjugorje is, is upholding Catholic doctrine that the Trinity, you must believe in the Trinity to save your soul. And, 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 this, and this guy is saying, well, you can be Muslim. The Muslims don't believe in the Trinity. That's their tr the two churches, The two religions aren't the same. I mean, one is directly contradicting the other. Well, uh, one of the seers here, what's his name? Uh, Ivanka. Now, the same book page 149 of the Vision of the Children. The Madonna said basically religions are similar. Okay, this is supposed to be our Blessed Mother speaking. And my personal favorite, this is from The Final Harvest by Wayne Weeble, page 110, where supposedly our Blessed Mother says, my son and I do not cut the cake when religions are, where religions are concerned. You have put the walls, the divisions between yourselves. See, well, if that makes any sense at all. Well, it does, it, first of all, the whole idea is that, uh, you know, that Christ founded one church, upon the rock will build my church. He didn't say my churches. I mean, I mean, we talk about a diocese as being a church, but it's always understood in the context mm -hmm. of being within yeah, the within, Catholic yeah. Church. And so, uh, if you have many churches, and Christ, you know, when, when Pilate I said, are, are you king? He said, my, I came into the world to witness to the truth. And he, and he acknowledged his kingship and cost him his life because, you know, he was on the truth, here's my voice. Well, the truth can't contradict itself. I mean, you know this John better than I do, or as well as I do. It can't contradict itself. So if you have, a, if you have a, a, a Muslim religion which denies the existence of the Trinity, and the Catholic Church which affirms the mission, both of them can't be right. I mean, just logically speaking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the Muslims are wrong, but the point I'm getting at is that they both can't be right. And, so, and, we're, and we're, why do we believe what God, the, church, the faith? Because it's the truth. But we can't have the truth contradicting reason. You can say, well, it doesn't matter. It's just a, no, no. One is denying the teaching of Christ, and one is affirming it. You can't have a religion based on the denial of the teaching of Christ. Well, what's interesting here is this is the final quote I'll give, and that is, we know who Father Rene Laurentin is. Yeah. Uh, for the for the, the Father is more he's a Mariologist, quote unquote, a modernist and very ecumenical, and he loves Medjugorje because of its ecumenism. There's a theologian speaking. He says, a post-conciliar style, openness and topicality. The apparitions of Medjugorje do not have a retro style. That's pre-Vatican II style. They are in keeping with post-conciliar pastoral theology. The gospel encourages openness and ecumenism. 
close quote. So the gospel, I, for people who don't know, is the that's alleged the name vision. That they give. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the thing is, is that I've taken these quotes from different sources, and these are all sources that praise Medjugorje. Yeah. They're praising this as if it's a good thing. Yes. But as I said earlier, and you know, by their fruits, what are the fruits? The first fruit is it has to teach the truth. Yeah, well, if, and if, if it doesn't teach the truth, it's a false apparition. But, and if it's teaching you that you, it doesn't matter what religion you belong to, and you believe that, you're going to go to hell. So it doesn't, is, is Medjugorje something you should follow? No. If you, um, I mean, there's a, a father, a, a, a priest from northern Italy, from Brescia, who said our, the devil was appearing. At, at the, it's a vision of, of the devil. And yeah, there's stories of that, yes. Well, yeah. in fact, he's got a whole report, a whole magazine, as uh, Father Luigi Villa. Mm -hmm. Who's you know who's been commissioned by uh, Pope Pius XII and Padre Pio to fight masonry within the church? Anyway, his magazine says that, but the fact is, I mean, it's reported by again, I believe, Pro Medjugorje books that the devil did appear one time at Medjugorje. I mean, appeared as the devil, mm -hmm. and then when the children saw it, he transformed himself into Our Lady before their eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how no. This, 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 I mean, the stories of, of what was really happened at Medjugorje is not really, not really told. And mm -hmm. when you have, when you have um, the seers. Now, our friend Jim Demers, he was at this event. They had this huge stadium full of people, and the main attraction was you come out and you watch the Medjugorje uh, seer have an apparition, and you pay your money at, at the, and. Jim saw this and he said it was one of the most horrifying things he ever saw. Goes, it was either demonic or just very bold charlatanism. You know, yeah. what a, not, yeah. not exactly Catholic. Uh, charlatanism, meaning there was, they were putting on a show for pay and, yeah. they were, and taking, yeah. raking in the. So in the, the Medjugorje has just uh, too much wrong with it to, um, to take it seriously. And also, um, especially when Fatima has, Fatima has so much to give us. Yeah. Well, in fact, the idea, for so, uh, when Our Lady says in the Fatima message, without the consecration, Russia cannot be converted. Without the consecration, the world cannot have peace. Fatima, is, and this is why Pope Benedict said at Fatima in 2010, he said, he who thinks the prophetic mission of Fatima is concluded deceives himself. The prophetic message, they, they, some people say this midjury takes place of Fatima. No, it can't take the place of Fatima because it's the request of Our Lady of Fatima that will bring peace when they're fulfilled. And without them, we're going to have war and destruction and annihilation of nations. And uh, Fatima, Medjugorje is distracting people away from the, 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 the real message. And of course, you've got these false, these, these false friends of Fatima who pretend to be in favor of Radio Fatima who falsify the message. But the true message, and anyone can find it, we get the documentation. They don't take our word for it. Go over and find it. And what we're saying is authentic and is, is the full Fatima message. And, and, and that is being is being distracted from by 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 major glory from what I can see. So yeah, so to get back, we have to we're running out of time here. So the um, the main question is is what is what are the problems with major glory? We've only listed a few of them in a short time. Uh, there could be a lot more, but n enough to say that it's teaching a false message, and as such, it cannot be a true apparition. So with that, we will close, and we will see you on the next broadcast. Thank you.